I would like to thank the OTA for having me here. skip the disclosure page, but none of the authors have, has anything to disclose. Um, according to the World Health Organization, um, injury is a leading cause of death in children, and uh, it's estimated that uh, 1 million um, children below the age of 18 die annually from injuries. 95% of these occur in low and middle income countries of which uh, Ghana is part. Um, this is as a result of industrialization poor road network and um, frequent accidents. Those who survive um, sustain a lot of fractures um, um, out of which femoral shaft fractures um, are major ones. Most of the femoral fractures may be treated using traction spiker, um, X-fix, open reduction internal fixation, um, rigid intramedullary nailing, and extensible intramedullary nailing. In our part of the world, as the tropics and subtropical countries, because of the harsh environmental conditions, um, the use of spikers are limited. The gold standard is um, traction, skin traction. Um, to date, no study has compared directly um, the use of flexible intramedullary needles and traction. And we share our experience. Our hypothesis were improved radiographic outcome a flexible nailing has improved radiographic outcome over skin traction, has a lower complication rate, lower length of stay and hospital costs, and is associated with good health-related quality of health, quality of life outcomes. The study design was prospective observational and um, our inclusion criteria were difficile femoral shaft fractures in skeletally immature patients. In all, we, had, we grouped them into various arms. We had um, 84 patients, out of which 45 were treated with skin traction and 39 were treated with um, the nail, flexible nail. Um, the study was a randomized and pa all patients were given, the parents were given the opportunity of having the nail and they went on to decide what they wanted. Uh, afterwards, we followed them up for a couple of weeks. We realized that the, as the demographics, patients within the nailing group were on average two years older than those who had fraction, which was statistically significant. There were no differences um, in terms of fracture morphology and location. And also, most of the people who were treated with elastic nail were sustained their injury through motor um, vehicle related injuries compared to those who had a traction. Um, we found that at the time of presentation there were no significant differences um, in terms of shortening, um, angulation and translation between the two treatment arms. However, on subsequent follow-up, that's immediately after the um, intervention and one, week, one month post-intervention, 
the radiographic outcomes were superior in our patients who had the uh, nailing. is what I just talked about, and they were all significantly superior. At four weeks follow-up, we didn't find any um, significant difference in terms of hip and knee range of motion, um, leg length discrepancy, presence of a limb within the two cohorts. Um, we did post-analysis, as this is so important in our parts of the world. And we realized that the length of hospital stay um, within those who had skin traction was on average 30 days compared to 15 in those who had uh, elastic nailing. And the um, length of stay after treatment um, was almost 30 days in those who had a skin traction and 7 days um, for those who had the nail, which is also significantly, um, which is significant. And those who had the nail on average, paid lower uh, for charges in terms of hospital cost. Though initially, the cost of the nail was quite high, but in the end, the, the, the cost was significantly uh, more significant. They paid lower. We had um, a number of complications, three complications, that's uh, four complications. Three of them were more unions, um, defined as angulation more than 10 degrees, and one delayed union. And we realized that those who had the more unions, two of them had spiral fractures, and one was due to technical error. The person, as we can see, had a distal femoral shaft fracture, which uh, wasn't fixed. The distal fragment wasn't fixed well at the time of, um, of the surgery. There were, however, no deep infections or wound complications. The health-related quality of health, on average, was lower within the first six months in both treatment arms and um, it was about 80% below the um, average for the pediatric population group. However, the, these indexes return to normal within one year of treatment. In conclusion, um, from our study, we found that elastic uh, intramedular nailing improved with the graphic results over skin traction. However, you should exercise caution when you have spiral, spiral fractures and um, proximal or distal fragments, uh, fractures. And length of hospital stay was reduced from one month to one week, reducing hospital costs and also decongesting our pediatric wards. And on average, the health-related quality of life was reduced, but these features returned to normal within one year. And we will use this opportunity to recommend that people coming from low- and middle-income countries like me should consider the use of elastic intramedullary nails. Thank you. Now,